Welcome to another episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for all things trail camera and wildlife footage. Our channel is dedicated to showcasing the raw, unfiltered beauty of the natural world as captured by some of the most innovative trail cameras on the market. Whether you're an avid nature lover or simply intrigued by the majesty of the great outdoors, our videos offer a front row seat to some of the most breathtaking and rare moments in the animal kingdom. From elusive predators and prey, to Bigfoot sightings and the paranormal, we capture it all on camera and bring it straight to your screen. Sit back, relax, and let's get into the captures. A hunter in Pennsylvania walked up on this young buck in the woods. And yes, I mean walked up on. I think the man was more shocked than the deer was. As he approached, the deer did nothing at all. He was seemingly frozen. In the video, you can see the animal turning his head. After a little while, the hunter clanked his antlers with the arrow, he snapped out of it and took off. As we watch it again, it is likely the deer is using a common defense mechanism known as freezing. This is used by many animals when they perceive a threat or danger. This behavior, also known as tonic immobility, involves the animal becoming motionless and appearing to be frozen in place, often for an extended period of time. Freezing behavior can serve a number of functions for different animals. For example, some animals may freeze as a way to blend in with their surroundings and avoid detection by predators. By remaining still and silent, they may be less likely to be noticed and targeted. This is particularly common in prey animals, such as rabbits, deer, and birds, that are often hunted by predators. Nevertheless, this is just an unbelievable instance to capture on camera and just be a part of. In August 2021, a 15-year-old mountain biker shared footage of a hair-raising encounter with a sizable black bear while filming his biking skills. The incident began with the boy emerging from the woods on his bicycle and passing through the camera. Moments later, he nervously called out to someone before reappearing on screen, repeatedly looking back over his shoulder. Suddenly, a large black bear appeared heading towards the boy. Quick thinking, the rider used his bicycle to make himself appear larger and shouted, which was enough to actually scare off the bear. Instead of attacking the boy, the bear took his interest to the camera before eventually wandering away, leaving the rider unharmed luckily. Another awesome trail cam clip here from Bobby Wilmer Photography. This gator here is enjoying an armor-plated catfish. Just crunch right down on that thing. Here we have some wild hogs. I bet the gator from the last clip would like to get a hold of one of these guys.
This photo shows an image captured by a trail camera. It shows what some believe to be an adult and juvenile Sasquatch. While scientists are not convinced of the existence of these creatures, many amateur researchers continue to claim their existence and believe they are getting closer to proving it with photographs like this. Reports of sightings of these creatures have been made for years some dating back to early Native American legends that spoke of the sharp chains. The area where this picture was taken, around Mount Shasta, is considered to be a hot spot of supernatural activity. There are strange sightings of hovering objects, mysterious lights and Sasquatch-like monsters. Reports of sightings of large humanoids have also been made in the area. Let me know what you think of this photo. This is just a hilarious trail cam capture. After a kid kept telling his father that he was seeing a bear next door, the father obviously didn't believe him, he decided to rig up one of his old trail cams. And wouldn't you know it. As we can see, this huge bear has made a home in a crawl space of an abandoned home. Speaking of bears, while this home isn't abandoned, this guy's hanging out and about to have a little fun. No, I didn't speak to it. It's a black bear. They're bad bears. They're, they can be mean. It, it's, it just knocked my jacuzzi top over. And now it just got in my jacuzzi. Okay, I'm... No, it did not. Yes, it's getting warm. It's just having a blast. Yep, he's just making himself right at home in this jacuzzi. Someone bring this man a drink. The white-tailed deer is easily the most captured animal on all trail cams combined. Everyone knows them, they're the standard deer, so to speak, brown with a white tail. So it's not every day we're lucky enough to see a piebald deer. Piebald deer are not a separate species or subspecies of deer, but rather a genetic variation that can occur in several different species of deer, including white-tailed deer, mule deer, an elk. Piebald deer are relatively rare, with estimates suggesting that only about 1% of the deer population exhibits this coloration. People often ask about hunting. Piebald deer can be legally hunted in many areas where hunting is permitted, just like other deer with normal coloring. However, some hunters may choose not to hunt piebald deer because they are considered to be a rare and unique variation of the species. In some areas, piebald deer may be protected by law or hunting regulations. For example, in some states in the U.S., it is illegal to hunt deer with more than a certain percentage of white coloring. Obviously, that could include piebald deer. Anyhow, just an amazing camera capture. And it's crazy how their eyes can be sometimes black. Let me know if you've seen any of these around your area. Here we have just a great video of two brown bears slugging it out in Romania.
in Romania, brown bears are a protected species and hunting them is strictly regulated. This particular video has been around forever, and it shows a supposed Florida skunk ape moving quickly through the high grass of the Everglades. I've never heard a good explanation of what this was. The skunk ape is a creature said to inhabit swamps, forests, and other wilderness areas, primarily in the southeastern United States and particularly in Florida. The skunk ape is described as being a large, hairy, bipedal creature that stands between 6 and 8 feet tall and weighs up to 400 pounds. It is said to have reddish or brownish fur, a distinct odor, hence the name skunk ape, and many, many people suggest that it is related to the Bigfoot of the Pacific Northwest. Let me know in the comments if you have more info about this video, or skunk apes in general. In this video clip captured by a trail camera, a six-point Oregon bull elk has fallen into a wallow, and he can't get out. As the footage shows, the elk is attempting to free itself from the sticky situation, but he's just too big and heavy to do it alone. Recognizing the need for assistance, the elk began bugling loudly in an effort to attract rescuers. Finally, his calls were heard, and a team of people came to help, and they were able to free him. Just a great story. This next video is just incredible. On what was a regular day, a woman just walking her dog, her female boxer, when the pup suddenly starts to act strange. She veers off the path, finds a grassy spot, lays down, passes out, and loses consciousness. The poor woman is trying to help her dog. She's wailing. A good Samaritan is walking by, notices the commotion, and takes control. What the heck? She's not breathing. Okay, yeah. oh, Let's get a CPR. CPR. Call, try to calm yourself. As you can see in the video, the man is doing everything he can. He's giving chest compressions. He tries to clear her airways and even gives her mouth to mouth. And lo and behold, he is able to resuscitate the dog. Unbelievable. What a guy. The lady is obviously filled with emotion. She's crying. What a great story. On a scorching summer day in the UK, Meg and Jeff take all three of their Hungarian Vizlas for a hike, oblivious to what lay ahead. We're walking along, just having a chat like we normally do, and then we noticed that the dogs were not moving. The couple walks closely behind their dogs, but suddenly the dogs halt in their tracks, not focusing on anything in particular. It looks like they're frozen in time, but as you can see by the camera footage, the leaves around them are moving, but the dogs remain motionless. And all the bushes, but the dogs were completely still. I'm not sure what's going on here, but one of the dogs can be seen frozen mid-stride in the background. What do you guys think is going on here? In May of 2021, Yowie researcher Dean Harrison and his team from Australia are testing out infrared cameras at Springbrook National Park. Later that night, they capture this mysterious footage. The thermal imaging seems to capture a large, singular being hiding behind a tree trunk. Minutes later, there appears to be a couple creatures. One even bends over to pick something up. And if you look at its head, it doesn't look human. 
And on top of all this, the team said no humans would ever be where they are at this time of day, let alone at night. Bigfoot researchers are adamant that all of this aligns with what has already been proven. Dating all the way back to the Aborigines caves, their prevalence in their storytelling and cave drawings proves they're real. And even when the settlers came in the late 1700s, they too had experiences with the Yowie. What are your thoughts on this strange occurrence? Let me know in the comments, I'm interested. I'm going to let this video play because I want you guys to hear the noises these koalas are making. Koalas are generally solitary animals and do not actively seek out confrontations with others of their kind. However, they may fight over resources such as food, territory, mating partners, the normal stuff. Male koalas are known to be particularly territorial and may engage in physical fights with other males to establish dominance and protect their territory. And of course we all know during the breeding season, most males will likely compete for access to females, and fights may break out between the males as a result. Nevertheless, just a cool camera capture. Typically, eagles tend to hunt smaller animals, but the tables have turned today as a massive eagle takes flight, aiming to capture this fleeing fox. The fox is booking it, trying to get away. But the eagle's just too fast and too powerful. Despite the fox's struggle, the eagle emerges victorious in the end. A harsh reminder of the brutality of the animal kingdom and the survival of the fittest. A hunter is stunned when he hears these screams coming from the woods. Look, even though I'd have my rifle, I have to admit that I'd be pretty freaked out. It sounds like someone is getting murdered. But many have said that these sounds are coming from a mountain lion. Let's hear it again. Just a wretched sound. Anyhow, tell me what you guys think. While going through his footage, the owner of this trail camera has noticed something unusual. Along the tree line, there is a shadow that is barely visible in the night recordings. However, as the camera continues to record in the morning, the shadow becomes more distinct, revealing a large, brown, furry figure. The creature seems to be either hiding or sleeping. You can see their movement, so it is definitely alive. Speculations have arisen that this sighting may be of the elusive Bigfoot. However, a question that puzzles many is why the deer in the area didn't sense the creature's presence and become alarmed. The footage has captured the attention of many, and they're intrigued by the possibility of the existence of such creatures. Nonetheless, the footage serves as a reminder of the mysteries that still exist in the natural world and the importance of continuing to explore and learn about our environment. As you can see, a small, seemingly naked figure with a weird body is seen walking through here. Suddenly, the figure darts forward as if it knew it was being recorded. 
The footage then shows a ladder being pulled out from the camera's view as the creature runs out of the house. Many viewers found it funny with comments suggesting even aliens need jobs. However, I'm not real sure of the authenticity of this. Was this recording real or a hoax? Jake DeMarco, a father of two from Australia, was horrified when he saw his security footage capturing what appeared to be a ghostly dog running around with his pet dog, Ryder. The strangest part of all of this is that the backyard is fully secured with an eight foot high fence and no way any other dog could get inside. When Jake caught it on camera, he sprinted out to the backyard to investigate, but the mysterious white dog had vanished without a trace. The eerie footage obviously left him spooked. He couldn't explain how the dog managed to enter his fully secured backyard. Despite all his efforts to uncover the truth behind the ghostly sighting, the mystery remains unsolved. Now, there are a few different reasons people might install a camera near a bird feeder. Some like to observe and learn about bird behavior, so installing a camera near a bird feeder can allow people to observe and learn about the different species of birds that visit that feeder. Some like to capture photographs or videos of birds. And lastly, you might install a camera to deter unwanted animals. By monitoring the feeder with a camera, people can intervene if they see an animal trying to get at the bird seed. Well, the owner of this camera had no way of seeing this coming. As we see in the video, the hawk snatches the bird off the feeder. It was like a lightning strike. You can barely see it. As we play it again in slow-mo, look at how the hawk maneuvers through that tree. I mean, it's unbelievable. It looks normal in slow-mo, but when you play it full speed, you can almost barely notice that he has to make that move. Unbelievable. And I love the little bird that's just hanging out hiding behind the feeder, like, thank God I didn't get attacked. This next video is from Jimmy B Trail Cams. Jimmy B captures all sorts of animals on his channel. Coyote, deer, owl, his cats, someone else's cats. He has a great property with multiple cameras. So when Jimmy caught this figure walking through his property, he was a little surprised you could say. Man, I tell you, I don't know if it's Bigfoot, but it's definitely something sketchy. I'll let you guys be the judge. What do we have here? I'm going to just let this video play as they narrate it for us. <laughs> he's so little. What do you think he's doing fat in there? He's a fat little guy. Hey. Oh. Hey, friend. I'm a chiller. Oh, no, yeah, that's no, he's, he's going to bite you. <laughs> he's so sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we should bring him home. All right, fine, we'll take him. He's cold. Can <laughs> you bring him back to New Zealand? I'll bring him home. <laughs> bring him home. Oh, fuck, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm going to cry. Oh, fuck, I cry. 
cry every time I see the bison. Go, 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 yeah, are you? Oh, he's ripping. Watch how Hawk just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, yeah, imagine. <laughs> Can imagine dragging a rope through the freaking. Oh! oh no! Oh! This is just an incredible thing to capture on camera. An incredible supernatural story here coming out of Canton, Georgia. After losing her son to an accidental drug overdose, Jennifer Hodge was watching TV with her daughter one night when she got a notification that her entryway camera had picked someone up. Here's what it showed. Jennifer is adamant that her son is the figure on the camera. A paranormal investigator was brought in and was in agreement with Hodge. There is a figure in the home that is very visible. To be 100% positive, the investigator said she would have to do an in-home assessment. I definitely have to admit, I mean, I see someone in the video. Anyhow, let me know if you guys have any experience with something like this. I find this stuff fascinating. A full-grown gaur, also known as an Indian bison, can reach 2,500 pounds and stand over 6 feet tall at the shoulder. Their powerful legs and necks are capable of generating a tremendous amount of force. The term gower is used more broadly to refer to the entire genus of wild cattle. Well, I'd say the guy in this video is pretty wild. As the police show up, you can see this guy, he's not having any of it. Just insane strength. Let's watch it again. I mean, that's just crazy. This video, taken in Florida, shows a raccoon attempting to subdue an iguana. Raccoons are omnivorous and opportunistic feeders who eat a variety of foods, including some small lizards and snakes. But this guy has his opposable thumbs full here. That's a big iguana. This type of iguana is an invasive species not native to Florida and can wreak havoc on the eggs and young of other native animals. The video went on for some time. The raccoon was unable to gain control of the iguana who, the owner says, just continued sunbathing near the pool. Honestly, I'd say the owner has a bigger issue on his hands with an iguana and a raccoon hanging out in the daylight in his backyard. He might need to call someone. Nevertheless, crazy thing to capture on camera. This next photo, down a dark, winding rabbit hole, I found this picture of a supposed ape-like Bigfoot. As we can all tell, this is the backside of the creature. And before I dive too deep into this one, I just it doesn't seem real to me. It's almost like a stuffed animal placed in front of the camera. I just don't know. I hate to say someone's picture isn't real, so I'm interested in what you guys think. The legs look kinda real but I've never seen a tail like that. 
It looks like the tail of a giant squirrel. Again, let me know in the comments what you think of this capture. I'm leaning towards a hoax. This clip shows a great spot for a trail camera. As you can see, a family of deer have come to the watering hole. After they mill around for a little while, they eventually leave. Here comes a beautiful bobcat checking out the trail camera. He's a pretty good size too. The owner of the property and camera says the cat is always on the hunt and he covers a lot of ground on this property. Later that night, a coyote shows up. Great footage from Mississippi. An elk has been killed, and this single mountain lion is in a battle with a pack of coyotes over the carcass. The cat is controlling the kill while the coyotes circle. The lion gives a big hiss, putting the pack on notice. For some reason, both parties leave the kill, but the coyotes are the first to get back to it. One coyote pulls it to the coyote side. Then you can see the lion dragging it back through the snow. As the video shows, after the lion fills its belly, he leaves for the final time, leaving the scraps for the coyotes. One coyote joyfully announces the cat's departure with a loud howl. The owner of the trail camera said the coyotes dragged the carcass to the meadow, where he found it the next morning. This next amazing video is from Michael outside in Arizona. While hiking in Arizona, Michael stumbled upon a tiny little rock bed that was retaining water. There weren't any trees, so he quickly fastened his trail camera to this rock. And boy, are we glad he did. We see a vulture as the first visitor. And before we see any other animals, look at the temperature on the camera. Yes, one 
33 at 133 degrees Fahrenheit. Unbelievable. I'm surprised that water isn't steaming. Six days later, only 90 degrees, a smooth 43 degrees cooler than the other day. Anyhow, we see a mama bear and her cub take a visit to the drinking hole. Well, they're going to use it as a pool too. Can't blame them for that. The little cub getting out all wet is adorable. Look at it. As the cub walks away, the look on the mom's face is priceless. Ugh. I know I have to follow him, but I just want to sit here and relax. These little guys show up. One attacks the camera. Then the majestic mountain lion comes for a long drink around noon. Showing up again about eight hours later, with what looks to be a younger lion, most likely one of her young. All of these are just phenomenal trail cam captures. Snow leopards are often revered as some of the most beautiful cats in the world. They have adapted to life in the harsh, high-altitude environments. They are solitary ambush predators known for their strong and agile bodies. And they're nothing to shake a stick at. They are capable of killing prey much larger than themselves, mostly due to their powerful jaws and muscular necks. Well, we're going to see all of that and more on display in this next absolutely nutty video. Just as you think they're going to stop, they keep falling. Would you believe it if I told you that the leopards suffer no injuries during this plummet down the icy mountainside? Yeah, me neither. However, this same leopard was spotted 72 hours later, looking to give something else a flying lesson. Just unreal. A video from 2010, taken in Algonquin Provincial Park in Canada, a passerby sees what they suspect is a Bigfoot on the side of the road. Many are calling it a fake. It looks pretty interesting. It's definitely something on two legs. However, that something could be a Sasquatch or someone playing a trick. My two cents is that it would be kind of odd just filming out the window and you accidentally capture a Sasquatch on film. I guess filming out the window really isn't that crazy. But anyhow, let me know in the comments what you all think about this video. This clip is great. I love this little girl's energy. She takes one look at that trail camera and she heads straight for it. If we're talking about fight or flight, this girl is all fight. This little cub reminds me of my youngest daughter. In our family, we joke around she's either going to be a lawyer or need a lawyer. In a recent video from the Voyager's Wolf Project, a rowdy little bear in Minnesota had an adorable run-in with this trail camera. The aggressive cub decided to fight the filming equipment while its mother was seemingly unconcerned about the destruction. Researcher Thomas Gable said he loved it. 
Quote, I actually laughed out loud when I first saw the footage. I wasn't expecting it at all, and it was hilarious to see the cub getting into mischief. I mean, I rewatched this footage probably four or five times just for fun, thinking to myself, how lucky are we to get this on camera? End quote. Very true. While the camera was temporarily disabled, it wasn't completely destroyed. So they'll still be able to catch plenty of footage. CCTV footage from the back of an apartment complex captured this creepy video. I stumbled upon it and wanted to know what you guys thought about it. As the video plays, two friends are walking and one magically disappears. As we play it again, it looks as if something beamed down and sucked him into thin air. At first I was calling BS, but the way his friend runs away almost makes it look real, genuine. I just don't know. Let me know how you all feel about this video. This is another creepy video taken only a year ago. The scene looks like it takes place in a junkyard or some type of industrial area. The video shows a ghostly apparition floating from the left side of your screen. You can see as the dogs get off of their pile of bedding or whatnot and come to investigate. They're barking and howling at the floating object. What could this be? As we zoom in to get a better look, I still can't make out what it is. The dogs are definitely spooked by the floating being. The end of the video is even creepier. What is this thing? This next clip comes from Homesteading Off The Grid, a popular YouTube channel documenting the lifestyle. This guy has tons of trail cameras set up all over his property. In this clip, something freaky's going on. I don't even want to admit how long it took me to actually find the figures in this video. And I'll save you guys the time by highlighting them. The first one sticks his head out from behind the tree on the right of the screen. Definitely seems like a person or some type of creature. He's a black figure that peeks his head out and looks around for a minute, then pulls it back. This next part shows the dark object on the bottom left of your screen get pulled out of view. Watch that again. And again, we see the creature behind the tree on the right. Look, I don't know what's going on here. Does anyone else recognize these creatures? If this video is real, it's very intriguing. What could they be? I feel like it would be kind of strange for a cryptid to be out in the middle of the day. But let me know your thoughts. This next video displays some awesome trail camera footage taken out of New Hampshire. A turkey's hanging around a little clearing here and gets a tower buzz by a hawk. Maybe the hawk was just saying hi. He definitely can't lift that turkey up. We see a beautiful coyote by a watering hole. And as the screen transitions, we see a very angry mama duck. And she charges at the red-shouldered hawk, who seems unfazed. Unfortunately, the reason the duck is so angry is that out of screen, the hawk swooped down and swiped a duckling. Here we see a bobcat slink by another camera on the property with a light squirrel dinner. 
this next part is pretty cool. As the camera zooms in, you can see a coyote in the background. As a young buck comes into view, he's spooked. As we fast forward to the winter months, we can see some deer running, and then soon after, we see why. Possibly the same deer and the same coyote from the last clip. We see here, we see the deer stomping its hooves, swishing its tail and snorting. A telltale warning sign to the predator, as well as the other deer that are with her. As the deer retreat, we see the two coyotes. Man, just phenomenal footage from a great piece of property. This next story is a heartwarming change of pace. Isabel Spriggett heard an awful noise coming from the woods behind her house. When she and her dog Kate went to check it out, they found an abandoned baby fawn. Isabel is a wildlife photographer and had actually photographed this deer a few days ago. She knew to leave the fawn where it was and was sure to keep her great Dane Kate away from it as well. However, the nearly unbearable noise went on for three solid days, and Kate, the Great Dane, couldn't take it any longer. She was begging her mom to let her go check it out. So they did. When the pair entered the woods, they found the fawn in the same place it was three days ago, and it seemed that the mother had really abandoned it. This time, they picked her up and took her inside and laid her on the dog's bed. And well, the rest is history. Kate took an immediate liking to the fawn, and from the minute she met her, she adopted the role as mother. The fawn, who they affectionately named Pippin, would suckle on Kate trying to get milk, even though she couldn't produce any. Sadly, Isabel said it was only a few weeks before baby Pippin wanted to venture back into the woods, and they didn't stand in her way. Pippin would spend the night in the woods, but would visit every single day and Kate would even disappear for hours playing with the deer in the woods and the next day they would do it all over again this is just an adorable heartwarming story it's cute how they nuzzle and neck hug each other just something we all need an awesome friendship This video is pretty impressive. A red tail hawk versus a crow. As we watch it again, you can tell the crow sees the hawk coming in at the last second, but just can't get out of the way quick enough. A pretty interesting tidbit from an expert. He said that red-tail hawks will shy away from corvids because of how smart they are. Corvids employ several strategies to deter hawks, such as mobbing. And generally only as a last resort will a red-tailed hawk try to dive bomb a corvid like this. So he was either really hungry or saw the perfect time to strike. Ryan Twellman, a game warden from Franklin County, was summoned to a farm following a report from a landowner about two white-tailed deer whose antlers were stuck together. Upon arriving at the site, Twellman located the two bucks in the same condition as reported. Unfortunately, one of the bucks had already passed away while the other was still alive. Using a shotgun and a slug round, Warden Twellman was able to detach the antlers and release the surviving deer which ultimately ran away unscathed. The warden gave the landowner a salvage tag for the deceased deer. According to the comments on Facebook, this type of incident is not uncommon. One commenter wrote that they had also come across a similar situation over the weekend, 
but sadly, both bucks had already died and had likely been that way for over a week. Good work by the landowner and Warden Twelman. As the video starts, you can see a doe and her fawn are at a watering hole. Man, that thing is young. Look how small the fawn is. Mom perks up and she senses something is nearby. As the attack starts, a bobcat crouched and hidden in the high grass sees his opportunity and strikes. Narrowly missing the fawn as mom steps in to stick up for her baby. Mom wasn't scared of that bobcat, she was ready to roll. The fawn did survive and headed off into the woods. Incredible capture here. A pretty funny video here. A bobcat can be seen marking his territory, then heading off deeper into the woods. A half hour or so later, the scent brings a coyote to the area, and he decides to mark right on top of the bobcat's marking. I guess they're playing a little game of who's the boss. Great capture here, and the owner has a nice little spot here to capture wildlife. This next video is incredible. It actually blows me away. Oftentimes in mating seasons, two bucks will spar with each other to attract a potential mate, and sometimes their antlers become positioned just right, and they lock. I've shown cases of two bucks with their headgear interlocked before, and they have always had a happy ending. Well, this one is no different. Taking place in Kansas, a game warden has answered a call about the bucks being locked together. As he follows them deeper into the tree line, they stop at a stream. The officer is able to throw something over the two deer, and what he does next is incredible. Looks like something out of a movie. The warden draws his service pistol and snipes the antlers of the deer. Don't worry, he doesn't hit the deer. There wouldn't be a video if he did, I imagine. Instead, he shoots and is able to clip the deer's antlers and free them. Crazy. Of course, the shot scares both of the deer, so they jump. But if you look at the deer that leaves out of the right of your screen, you can see he's missing some antlers now. Hey, a small price to pay to keep on living. They'll grow back. This is pretty creepy footage. So the owner of the property, who says he's lived here for 15 years, he has never seen anything like this. A man named Robin Searcy only opens his gate when he needs to, closing it right back to keep his dogs from running off running through the neighborhood. He always shuts it. However, one morning he says an unexpected overnight visitor left it open. He awoke the next morning to see notifications on his phone that there was movement behind his house around 2 a.m. As he checks his camera, he was pretty startled. What he saw was a young girl coming onto his property in a nightgown. He had no idea what she could have been doing there. He thought his eyes might be playing tricks on him, but the next morning, he looked around and saw that his gate was left open. He zoomed in and looked at the footage every which way, but he didn't recognize her. He took the footage to some neighbors to see if they recognized the young girl, but no one did. They had never seen her before, and the direct neighbor to his right didn't catch her on his camera. Searcy thought he had a ghost on his hands. The fact that she's dressed that way makes me feel like something more sinister might be at play. Like she escaped from a kidnapper or something and is looking for help. 
I don't know. Searcy reached out to the local news station and they came out and did a special on it. Now, fast forward to about a week later, a woman shows up at the police station. Not a little girl, a woman. She came forward and said that the photo on the outdoor camera footage was her and that her car had broken down and she was looking for help. She didn't give any other details, but still a very surprising thing to wake up to. I'm sure Mr. Searcy feels a little better about this, but that's still a surprising thing to wake up to. This outdoor security cam shows a cat just cleaning itself in a bin. He's just relaxing, but the camera also catches something else creeping up on this cat. A bear comes into frame and takes a little sniff of the cat, and it looks like it lightly and gently caresses the cat's paw. <laughs> Once the cat realizes this is a massive bear inches away, he bolts. It actually looks like it scares the bear more than the cat. The owner says the bear frequents his property, and that is one of the main reasons he got the outdoor camera. As we get toward the end of the clip, the cat returns the favor and runs the bear off. This is a wild one. Check this one out. The keen vision of raptors enables them to fly quickly and strike with incredible precision. Given this, and having observed this behavior several times, I began to wonder which of the finches was the main target of the hawk. The hawk no doubt left with something to eat, but did it have to switch its focus mid-strike when the finch on the left tried to escape? This happened so fast that it's possible the left finch is actually in the hawk's grasp. Furthermore, the owner of the feeder and camera setup claims that the hawk caught two of the three finches in a single swoop. Very impressive. Since all I have is the video, I can only confirm that this was a successful hunt. Hawks are known for their exceptional eyesight and can spot rabbits from a mile away. So adjusting mid-flight and grabbing the next bird or snatching up both birds in one go is definitely within the realm of their capabilities. Incredible footage here. Caught in the northeastern state of Maine, we see some white-tailed deer bound through the trees, and we quickly see why they're running. A pack of coyotes are on their heels. I love seeing this type of real-world action in the wilderness. I'm not going to rewind it to that part, but the doe that ran across the front of the screen had some blood in the white of her tail. Did anyone catch that? I wonder what happened there. Deer don't usually give birth this time of the year. But of course, one of the coyotes might have gotten her as well. Interestingly enough, another person commented and he thought that these were koi wolves, a coyote-wolf hybrid found throughout eastern North America. You can see them all the way from Canada and south to Virginia. Koi wolves have the common characteristics of the coyote and the wolf. Size-wise, they're bigger than a coyote, but smaller than your common gray wolf. Let me know if you know anything about these koi wolves. From what I've read, they're far more aggressive. Nevertheless, great footage. Let me know if anyone has had any contact with koi wolves. I'd be interested to hear more about them. This picture hit social media and caused a minor frenzy in the southern United States. 
Trail camera footage from October 14th of 2022, taken in southern Louisiana, left a lot of people scratching their heads. In the picture, you can obviously see a big ball or a mound of hair, and honestly it may be just that, or it could be something else. Many, many people think this trail camera captured a Sasquatch running or shying away, hiding its face from the camera. Other think it's a bear or just photoshopped. Some online viewers had some funny things to say about it. It could be a potential Ewok, a tumble pig, the hair from the shower drain, and one guy even said he's pretty sure that's his mother-in-law. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think it could be. To me, the footage doesn't show any definitive evidence. But maybe someone can make something out of it. I'd be curious if you have an idea. Footage submitted from a Reddit user shows a black bear taking a break, having a sip of water, and then taking a little bath. It's a pretty big boy. If you haven't noticed already, check out the antler shed from a moose. That's pretty cool. This next clip is eerie, but also freaking awesome. Look at these two. I'm sure you all noticed, but this is the same camera at the same watering hole. You could even see the antler shed there in the middle of the screen. These cats are healthy. Look at them. And if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. You don't want to run into one of these cats unprepared. Let alone two of them. They're just beautiful creatures too. This next footage shows a red fox starting his new year off right. I can tell by his face he's up to something. If you watch the dates and times at the bottom of the footage, you can see he shows up a few times on the 24th, maybe scouting out the area where there's a scent that has brought him in. Fast forward a few days and he visits on the 28th. Comes back a few hours later with a meal. If we stop the footage, we can see the legs of what appear to be a chicken. Now, the OP says that this camera is located on the outskirts of a big city. There aren't really any nearby houses or farms that would have chickens. That's the strange part. The only other thing I could think of would be that he snatched a young wild turkey. Let me know what you guys think. Do we think it's a chicken? Or could it be a turkey? Nevertheless, great camera footage. This is a funny posting which some viewers might have already seen. But the gentleman that placed this decoy has seen this deer do this more than once. Apparently the deer has some pent up aggression he needs to get rid of. You can see he's lifted the decoy doe up above his head with his antlers. I mean, this buck is a big boy. I was curious. From the picture, it looks like this decoy is a doe. I wonder why he would challenge her like this. Maybe he's just annoyed because he knows she's fake. I mean, look, he is staring directly into the camera. This trail camera snapped the picture at just the right time. In this picture, the hawk actually came from the left side, and the squirrel was able to spot him at the last moment and dodge him. My favorite part is seeing how the hawk spreads his wings and spins on a dime to try to double back to get the squirrel. 
Very impressive the way he's contorted his wings to slow down. Fun fact. Hawks generally take their food from the ground, while the falcon primarily catches his prey in the air. I've seen a few falcons at work and that's amazing. Let me know if you have. They're very impressive if you've seen either. An incredible mid-air capture here. From what I can tell, a young buck appears to be annoyed about something this fox has done, or is about to do. The buck leaps at the fox and tries to clip him with his front hooves. It's not too often you see a deer be aggressive unless it really has to be, or there's kids at play. The picture is cut off, but it looks like there's a feeder in the background, so I thought this was about food. But I got to thinking, perhaps the fox is after maybe a smaller deer and the buck is trying to intervene. Nevertheless, the camera snapped a pic at the perfect time. Another incredible angle captured by a game camera. An adult bald eagle seems to be claws out on his way down at this juvenile bald eagle. Those talons are impressive. Food is the currency in the wild. It's like money to people. It can make animals do some crazy things. I wonder if these birds are family. A great live action shot here. We can see the duck in the foreground safely flies away. But unfortunately, it appears the bobcat made a meal of one of the others. And this last guy here, he hit the jackpot. Just funneling the feed right into his gullet. These hogs have voracious appetites. It's probably pretty obvious where this clip is going, as we see a doe in the foreground with a buck lurking in the background. As the doe leaves the screen, we see the male approach and check out the camera. He eventually disappears out of camera view, reappearing at the top right of the screen in the background. Pay close attention. He's locked in on something. There it is. He and another buck are battling. I watched this a few times, and it looks like our guy was able to run off the other potential mate. Our next video comes from Scott Carpenter, a systems administrator from Merrillville, Tennessee, who has a passion for amateur Sasquatch research. One day, when he was leaving the feeding station, where researchers leave food to try to get a DNA sample or get the Sasquatch on a trail camera, he had a back trail camera filming from behind him, which he would review later when he got home. While reviewing the footage, Scott noticed a dark shape moving in the background. Upon a closer inspection, he realized that it was not a Sasquatch, but something he had never seen before. A dog man. Despite the skepticism of critics, Scott was convinced that there was a living being in the footage. He said he could see its nostrils opening and closing with each breath. The sudden realization that he was right there, he was so close to this unknown creature, it was both terrifying and exciting. Even though he was a researcher and he loves cryptids of all sorts, he was a little scared for his safety. He was worried that he had gotten this beast on camera and the beast knew it. 
It actually took him several weeks to recover from the shock. And while many people don't believe Scott, he is adamant about what he saw. So much so that he carries a gun at all times now, and especially when he goes into the woods. This was Scott's first encounter with a dog man, and it opened his eyes to the reality of the dangers that come with researching the unknown. Sometimes, if you go looking, you might find something you don't like. However, it has also sparked his curiosity and made him want to learn more about this mysterious dog man. Let me know if any of you have had any dogman encounters. They are plentiful out in the west of the state I live in. Warning, the following video contains graphic content that may not be suitable for all audiences. If you are easily offended or disturbed, it is recommended that you do not watch this part. It's really just a dead whale carcass with amazing animals coming to pick off of it. Anyhow, check out this incredible game camera capture of wild coastal wolves, bears, and eagles feasting on a washed up humpback whale carcass. This whale washed ashore on British Columbia's west coast. It's really cool to observe the fascinating scavenging process of these creatures. We can see a bear appears, he probably has first rate of refusal. As he pulls at the whale, Look at how small he is compared to the whale. He seems to get his fill and then he heads off. Quickly we see a wolf come in for a bite. Now, first of all, this wolf is beautiful. A healthy wolf, its face and neck with some darker browns and black in it. Wow, she's gorgeous. She pulls and nibbles before giving away to some bald eagles. The national bird and symbol of the United States of America, representing freedom, patriotism, and strength. The eagles get their fill of whale meat before flying off. Again, just an amazing look into the scavenging process and all of the benefits provided by the sad demise of the humpback whale. This next video might be one of my favorite ones that I've ever seen. A man was out hunting near Gladwater, Texas in 2020, and he heard the sounds of a distressed animal somewhere in the woods. As he followed the sounds, he came to an abandoned oil pit from the 1930s. In it laid a badly decomposing hog and a younger hog that was stuck, but still alive. The compassionate hunter decides to try to get him out with the rope and quickly realized how dangerous this was going to be. The hunter couldn't risk falling into the oil pit himself, so he looked around and eventually grabbed an old tire to help sure up his footing. As he works to get him out, the pig is exhausted, on the verge of drowning in the thick oil. The hunter finds a stick and is trying to use some leverage to get him out. The hunter can be heard encouraging the hog, come on buddy, help me out here, as the hunter refuses to give up. Thirty long minutes have passed and the man has been working both sides of the oil pit trying to free this hog. He has just now finally gotten the hog to be able to move himself, just a little. They're both exhausted. And just as soon as the hog seems like he's about to be freed, he almost slips back deeper into the sludge. The man crawls around to the front and uses his bare hands to try to get the hog out. The oil has sat there for dozens of years and is thick and slimy. And wouldn't you know it, one final good push and the man is able to free the hog. You see, he almost actually falls back into the sludge, but eventually scampers off into the woods. I mean, what a crazy and incredible thing to stumble upon in the woods. 
I know that hog was grateful, and I hope he's able to make a full recovery and somehow get all of that oil off of himself. The hero hunter from Texas said, quote, I decided that I have harvested many a hog, and since I have the chance to save one, I should. The rescue took me 40 minutes and was considerably dangerous because I was sinking along with the hog. I eventually freed the animal to both of our reliefs. However, I will say the rescue cost me my entire hunting season because it ruined my hunting clothes and gear. Unfortunately, I don't have the money to replace my clothes or gear, but if given the chance to do it again, I would. That's the spirit of a true outdoorsman. This is just a great spot for a trail cam. This capture here shows a bobcat using a fallen tree as a bridge. The guy seems pretty relaxed now, but he won't be in a second. There's an alligator nearby. And towards the end of the clip, he gets the surprise of a lifetime. Let's watch it again. You can see the eyes shining, revealing the gator's location. Yikes! But the bobcat, with his sure footing and all, slinks off into the night and lives to see another day. Poachers and trespassers on hunting properties are a big problem in a lot of places. Too lazy to ask for permission or rent the land. Some don't even have a hunting license. So in this video, it's good to see one of them get what is coming to him. As the man walks through the woods, you can hear a loud bang. Let's watch it again. If you look closely, the landowner has rigged up a booby trap that when triggered will spray paint all over this man. Hilarious. All on the side of his face. His rifle, his coveralls. Maybe that'll make him think twice. This clip is amazing. What a capture. Taken in Arizona, the trail cam footage shows a beautiful mountain lion next to a little stream. The capturer says he's been tracking this stunning mountain lion for months. The lion is a huge adult male, the largest one observed on this man's trail camera by far. The lion can be seen examining a scent marking left by a female in estrus just two days prior. This video offers up a rare treat as mountain lions are often challenging to capture on camera, mostly due to their roaming territories that can span tens of miles. And it is not uncommon for a lion to avoid revisiting the same location for months at a time. However, the presence of the female is believed to be the reason why the observer continues to see the male. I'd bet on that. Anyhow, just an incredible capture. I mean, what a beautiful lion. This is a crazy video. Drone footage taken from Cannock Chase District in England shows a strange sight. A young girl in the woods in what appears to be a hospital gown or nightgown. As the drone flies by, you can see the girl from the aerial view. What is she doing down there? She's so out of place. Paranormal investigators flock to the area, and many think that this is a real-life Samara Morgan, the antagonist character from the Ring series. I'm interested in a follow-up to know what she is doing down there. She seems really creepy, and the young girl from the Ring has always freaked me out. I'm interested to know if you guys have heard anything about this. A good Samaritan walked upon an entangled deer as the animal was trying desperately to free himself. The deer seems to have been caught in some rope that is attached to some metal bars that have likely just been thrown away in the woods. And now he finds himself in a tough spot. 
The deer is clearly scared and starts jumping and pulling with all its might to get away, but he's too tangled. Unbeknownst to the deer, these two men are here to help. David is finally able to gain some leverage with the deer by kneeling on his antlers, while his father films. He's given the knife to try to cut the rope from the antlers, but there's a lot of rope and it's tight. The animal stays calm as David cuts and pulls the rope away, but the deer can't take much more. He's ready to bolt. David ultimately has to pin the deer and almost catches a hoof in the side of the face. Luckily, he's a strong kid and is able to subdue the buck. While he holds the deer, his dad reaches in to unravel some of the rope and is able to cut the rope from the bar so at least they don't have to deal with that. They clear the rope and David slowly transfers his weight off the deer and is preparing to let him up. As he does, he points the deer in the direction he needs to run and off he goes. Just an amazing helpful capture. At the time of this research, the photo I'm going to show you at the end of this video is only one day old. The Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Group are investigative journalists and Bigfoot enthusiasts that document their findings on their YouTube channel. RMS received a submission from a family that spent some time in Washington State, and while they were there, they had an encounter with a figure they can't explain. I'll show you the footage of the area and read to you the letter RMS received, with the picture attached. Dear RMS, we used to live in Pierce County, Washington, but due to work commitments, we moved to New York. Our house in Pierce had a good-sized piece of land in the back, and we used to set up trail cameras for our three kids to capture the wildlife and the birds that visited. One day in August of 2020, we checked the camera and stumbled upon a strange photo. It was a humanoid-shaped figure that was captured by one of our trail cams. We're not sure what to make of it, but it looks like a long-haired, hairy figure. Do you think it could be a Yeti or a Bigfoot-like being? We've since upgraded our personal computer systems, and the photo was saved in a folder on our old PC. To be honest, we had forgotten all about it until now. We thought we'd share it with you guys and see what you thought. If you do find out any more information and decide to share it online, please keep our surname private. We are not looking for any attention. As I said, the photo just sits in the folder on our PC and we've considered deleting it for good. But if you guys have any thoughts, please let us know. Thanks and kind regards. Rocky Mountain Sasquatch said the first thing that they do when they receive a Bigfoot video or photo that appears to be new and unique, one of the best ways to determine its authenticity is by posting an article or a video about it. And they say, man, it doesn't take long for one of the many armchair Bigfoot researchers to reach out to them with information on where it came from, why it's fake, why it's real, and sometimes they even come up with some good information. One of the researchers has been searching for clear and open footage of Bigfoot for most of his life. He said he's usually able to recognize when something is truly new and unique. And that's why he uploaded this new game cam photo that he found particularly interesting. They released this photo one day ago and no one seems to have seen it before outside of the original submitters. To me, it appears to be bipedal, covered in hair, obviously. It's more slender than I would imagine, but maybe it's not fully grown. It's a teenager or adolescent. I will say the hair coming off its head kind of looks strange, but I have no reason to discredit the original poster. Anyhow, I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you all think of this photo? Is it legit? 
Or do we have another well-orchestrated hoax? An amazing camera capture here shows a massive mountain lion cornered on the top of a snowy boulder. The trio of hunting dogs ran and tracked the big cat until he had nowhere to go. The dog's advances almost pushed the cat off the rock, but he holds tight. The lion doesn't seem necessarily too worried about these dogs. I don't blame him. I mean, the dogs do outnumber him, but they don't outpower him. They've been home eating dog biscuits while this guy fights and claws for his food in the wild. Ultimately, when the owner of the dogs caught up, he called them off. And when they retreated, the big cat came off the rock and eventually walked away. Everyone left unharmed. This video clip has made its way around the internet with lightning speed, and for good reason. Originally uploaded by Colorado wedding videographer Stanton Giles, this video shows a bride and groom saying their vows next to a beautiful lake in Glacier National Park. The bride and groom were in the middle of exchanging their vows, surrounded by their friends, families, and a gorgeous backdrop. But suddenly, the peace was shattered by a loud roar. As the wedding party and the guests turned around, what they saw blew their minds. Several hundred yards away, across the lake on the bank, was a huge bear attacking a moose right across from the ceremony. We'll play a little clip so you can hear what it would sound like if you were there. The videographer who was facing the carnage said that he saw them both come down the mountain to the water's edge. The moose got there first and then the bear came barreling through the trees and tacked the moose, dragging it to the ground and killing it. Some of the guests were stunned and frightened, others thought it was amazing, and the bride and groom remained relatively calm. Although this probably isn't ideal, this is definitely a memorable experience. And they can say, that their wedding video went viral. I'll link this video in the description so you can watch it at length. This is an amazing capture here. Look at that move the hawk put on when he came to the fence. So this next video takes us to the Foxy Q Retreat. Uh, yeah. So this place is a certified wildlife refuge. It's in the Spring Mountains of Nevada. You can probably tell by its name that mostly foxes are under its care. However, the owners say they have all types of wildlife on site. Some are just visitors, but they have deer, foxes of course, mountain lions, bobcats, armadillos, well, the bobcat is the culprit in this next video, and the owner has actually tried repeatedly to get the cat off the property. You see the compound that is Foxy Retreat in the daytime. The owner explains that the mountain lion will even drink out of the little koi pond there. The next photo, taken at night, shows the bobcat coming onto the property. And across the compound, there is one of the foxes eating out of the bowls of food that is set out for them. And yes, the owner is aware that the food most likely attracted the predator and led to this event. And from what I'm understanding, it's a sore subject. As we see in the video, the fox nibbles. He definitely hears and senses something in the vicinity. 
A few moments pass, and boom. The cat snares the fox. The food bowl goes flying, and the fight is on. As the video continues, you can see that the other foxes have been put on alert by the commotion of the attack. When the bobcat comes back into frame, you can see that he doesn't have the fox. The other foxes scurry, and the bobcat slips off into the night. Now, here's one thing I'm not sure of, and maybe someone can answer it. Did the bobcat attack the fox as a food source, or was it a territorial dispute over available food? I feel like if the bobcat wanted to eat the fox, we would have seen that, but I don't know. Maybe someone can shed some light on this. Let me know what you guys think. I'd be interested. This next video showcases a paranormal event captured on camera. The person who recorded it had set up the camera in their garage after noticing strange occurrences happening in that area. Despite not having a camera set up on their deck at the back of the house, strange things also seem to happen there, and it appears that the mysterious figure in the video is headed in that direction. Due to all the unexplained happenings, the person decided to put a camera in their garage to capture any unusual activity. And as we watch it again, you can see the apparition float by, or could it be possibly walking directly through the car? Let me know what you think about this mysterious figure or spirit or ghost, whatever it may be. A couple in Virginia began to experience unusual events in their home, mainly in their kitchen. As they lived with their young toddler, they were certain that neither of them was the cause of these strange occurrences. To find out what was happening, the couple set up cameras inside their house, but no evidence was captured. And after installing the cameras, the strange events seemed to just stop. And believe it or not, things that were previously taken or moved were put back in their original places. Now, this video was taken from an outdoor camera attached to the couple's house. And as you can see, the camera catches an apparition or spirit or phantom, something just gliding right through their back door. What is that? Usually, I would just chalk this up to a camera glitch or even some type of moth or bug. But knowing the couple's backstory makes it really creepy. Personally, I love videos like this. Let me know what you think about this spirit or ghost, or what could be the cause of this. Is the couple just imagining these things? And also let me know if you like this type of footage. I love everything that's real and has been captured on camera, but I want to know what you all think. An Arkansas hunter got quite the surprise when he checked his trail cameras one day. These cameras are actually directly behind his house, pretty close to his deck in his backyard. As he's checking, he notices something unbelievable. Now, no one has permission to hunt his land, and normally he'd be pretty upset if another hunter trespassed. But he's not mad at this hunter. What he captured on this camera is amazing. As you can see, a bobcat was captured taking down a deer. And if you look at the photos, the bobcat is a pretty good size. The man commented to the news that he sees bobcats ever so often and wouldn't be surprised to see it with a raccoon or a squirrel or something smaller. But taking down a healthy deer is quite the feat. And it has put he and his family on notice. It's something that they need to be aware of. Arkansas Fish and Wildlife saw the photos and estimate the cat to be about 40 pounds, which would be a very, very big bobcat. Some experts suspect that the cat's probably between 20 and 30. Since cats are lightly built, a 40-pound cat would look huge. But, nevertheless, the animal is obviously capable of doing some damage. So regardless the size, this guy means business. 
for any bobcat hunters out there, let me know the biggest bobcat you've seen. One guy commented that his dad had hunted bobcats for 60 years and he thought that only maybe two of them in total reached 40 pounds. Rocky Mountain Sasquatch was sent this footage from a friend of theirs who was a Bigfoot enthusiast and they immediately recognized the location. As the story goes, at around 5.30 p.m., a deer hunter and his son were on their way to town from deer camp. They happened to spot a mysterious figure dressed in head-to-toe brown, roughly 300 yards away. Now, this is in the middle of hunting season. And what caught their eye is that he didn't have on his blaze orange. So, what was he doing out there? He could have easily been mistaken as an animal especially in this popular hunting spot. The hunters zoomed in on the figure with their cell phone and recorded the footage and realized that this may not actually be a human. As they looked closer, what they originally thought to be brown clothing now may appear to be fur. After they received the footage, RMS decided to investigate the area the next day. And to their surprise, they found three other people already on the scene, trying to corroborate this Bigfoot sighting. Two of the groups were in a truck communicating with walkie-talkies, and the others were out searching for footprints. RMS knew their suspicions were correct. Others had seen the footage and were out there looking as well. He actually pulled up to one of the trucks and asked, Are y'all investigating a Bigfoot sighting? The man said it was hilarious the shocked look he got. They felt relieved after witnessing the other investigators on site. He said you never know if the footage you receive might be a hoax, but these hunters genuinely did not know what they had caught on film. Rocky Mountain Sasquatch decided to join forces with the other investigators to search a well-known Bigfoot sighting hotspot adjacent to where the footage was taken. They then expanded their search to other nearby Bigfoot sighting locations within a 20-mile radius of the filming location. Towards the end of the day, they stumbled upon two Bigfoot tracks near a creek, two miles away from their initial search area. The tracks measured 16 inches in length and 8 inches wide at the toes, tapering to 6 inches wide at the heel. This discovery added to their excitement, and they were intrigued in uncovering more about the figure and the footprints. Now, I don't know if those are Bigfoot prints or not, but the figure in the video actually looks like Bigfoot. Let me know what you guys think of this. Could this really be Bigfoot or just another well-orchestrated hoax? In this clip, you can see some teenagers just enjoying a night in the pool. You can hear in the background that they must be at a barbecue or something. Well, now there's a fourth. That's crazy. You can see the girl. She smacks that thing. And then the one guy tries to help out, but the first guy, he just dipped out. Release containers are oftentimes used for bears that are being relocated. Maybe they have wandered into an area where they've been deemed a threat to humans. Or sometimes these containers are used for rehabilitation. If a bear has been injured or sick, it may need to be taken in to receive treatment. Now, in this video, I'm not sure if this bear is being relocated or what, but he is being released from his container today, and it is a happy day for everyone. They set up a camera to document his release back into the wild. As you see the door open, this bear is on his way to live a brand new life. As soon as he breaches the doorway, though, he goes into attack mode. Luckily, I think that was just a tripod camera and there wasn't an actual camera person. (laughs) 
this video starts with just a single deer who eventually bounds away and shortly after we see a bobcat come into frame. I suspect he's after that deer but is just a little late. As the video plays and the deer eventually comes back in front of the camera, you can see her stomping her feet and bleeding, grunting and snorting, most likely trying to signal the alarm that there is a predator nearby. You can see it stomping its feet, its ear position, tail movement. These are all other ways that the deer can convey information. This next little clip is just a small compilation of the wildlife on this gentleman's property. It's from the same property as the clip before. Man, he has quite the intersection here. We see deer, a raccoon, a bear, coyote, bobcat, and even a porcupine. This is just a great property and he has a nice little honey hole for his trail cameras. It's cool to see all of these animals inhabiting the same place. They come through the same areas day and night. Located in Maine, it's just a great property and a little treasure trove of trail camera footage. <laughs> 